heavy. Oops. Uh, piece of Armstrong linoleum flooring. Not too bad. So here's a before shot of the tub. This tub had a spray coating applied to it about 12 years ago. I don't know who did it, but we're getting it redone by a company called Miracle Method. 525 bucks. They will strip the tub. In this case, it's a little extra because of the previous coating. Uh, he ended up doing some patchwork on the chip glazing there to smooth it out. Sprayed half a dozen coats, primed it, sprayed half a dozen coats of top coat, and uh, it looks like new. So he has about three and a half hours of prep time into that tub. And while he's dilly dallying there, I went and bought a fridge and hiked it up all those stairs. It's a 24 inch whirlpool. Brand new. Yeah. Is it cold? Yeah, it works. Put the old stove, which is a relatively new stove, back in. Thanks. That works. I don't know if you can see the flame. Flame. 2.38, and he got here about 10 o'clock. And uh, I'm hooking up the sink. See how this day goes. So there's the finished product. Typically, they would do this all in one day. After they spray several coats, five or six coats of this top coat, the actual product. They can give it about two hours to dry, and then they come in, wet sand it, buff it. But uh, it's three o'clock on a Friday, and there's nobody in this unit, so it's not a rush to get done. So I told the dude he didn't have to stay till seven o'clock tonight because he wouldn't even be messing with this till five. He wouldn't even be able to wet sand this till five. So they're gonna come back on Tuesday and wet sand it, polish it, re caulk the tub to the tile. Five twenty-five, well spent saves me from having to replace the entire tub. So it's coming up at five o'clock on Friday. It's been about an hour and a half since he sprayed his last coat. It smells not so bad. I mean, it's not the best, but should I touch it? Should I? I'll touch it right where everybody can see it. Hmm. Eh. Dry. And he said about an hour and a half, two hours, then they can come in and wet sand it and buff it out. But like I said, that kid didn't need to be here till seven o'clock on or six o'clock on a Friday. Beat it, come back Tuesday. Let me show you something in the kitchen. Thermo ply. It's great to protect the new linoleum floor. My work boots leave black scuffs on these floors, so I've got a couple other smaller pieces. I've got this piece here. And I'm gonna let my floor roller set on for the weekend. That thing weighs about 90 pounds at least. And that little sliver there fits perfectly in between these cabinets. So when I was hooking up the sink, which is hooked up, I didn't make any scuff marks on the new floor. Time saver, there's a little nugget. Thermoply is awesome. Also when I was bringing in the appliances, I'll set the piece of thermoply here in front of where the refrigerator would go, for example. Wheel it in on the appliance dolly, set it down on the thermoply, and then I can adjust it, slide it back in without damaging the floor. Same thing for the stove. Put the thermoply, stove, slide it in. Let me show you how this sorted out. Pretty straightforward without a garbage disposal. Is cushions. Is that PEX? I had to cut the PEX to fit. Really long. And a, uh, an easy out, straight out. Now here's a good tip for you guys, because it's uh, 
510 on Friday. 510 on Friday. I just got done hooking up these water connections. This is an unoccupied unit. So uh, not that I don't trust my abilities, but uh, I don't need any frantic calls from the poor tenant downstairs saying that they're taking a shower in their bedroom. So I'm going to shut the water off, bleed the system off, until I can be here and give it a good eight hours or so to make sure that nothing leaks, nothing's going to pop off. That's it, water's off. Tuesday after the holiday, Tuesday we'll get some backsplash in here and the people move in on Wednesday. So nothing like a tight schedule. Thanks for watching.